Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the D3DERR not available error code 0x8876086A that is occurring when you're trying to run an emulator or some sort of game on your Windows computer. So if you're coming across this issue in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to jump right into it. So I'm going to have a link in the description of the video here to a Microsoft domain. And this is going to be a web installer for DirectX. So we're going to hopefully be able to update your version and get it up and running. Maybe you don't even have it installed in your computer. And that's likely why you're coming across this issue. So you want to go select the download button. You can uncheck the options that we see the Microsoft recommends if you don't want to change your default home page you're welcome to uncheck that and then select no thanks and contain a DirectX user runtime web installer so pretty straightforward process here I like to think And once it's done downloading, just go ahead and left on it one time to open the file up. You can minimize that out of your web browser too. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. It's going to say welcome to set up for DirectX. After you've looked through the end user license agreement, you want to accept the agreement. And then select next. If you want to install the Bing bar, you're welcome to. Otherwise, I'm going to uncheck that and then select next. Select so next again. It's only about 44 megabyte download, so it shouldn't take very long. And once it's done, it's all to finish, I would suggest restarting your computer and hopefully that's been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.